hit the road If there's no turning back We're gonna hit the road Alright, this is our last I said it right again She says you start every video with Alright But I do too And then I tell him not to And then I do Remember that's my ear right there I remember it <laughs> All right, this is our last day in Jersey. Is that your finger in the video? Actually, we're leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's my finger. Hold on, I'm trying to hold the thing. The thing? I'm trying to hold the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're leaving tomorrow morning, uh, 7 o'clock-ish. Then we're heading down to Virginia to go to uh, Thomas Jefferson's house, Monticello. I think he still lives there. We may run into Tommy. That's what I heard. We're doing the behind-the-scenes tour, so you'll get some footage of that next video. Uh, or the video after, depending on how we feel about it. And so it's a sad day a little bit. We're leaving everybody, but yeah, we want to focus on the positive. We got to see everyone. I started uh. smoking cigars on the trip, so... <laughs> it's got a hold on me. I can't stop now. It's going to sizzle me right there. It's nowhere near. Look, look, look. Ah. nowhere near you. Yeah, yeah. Famous last words. Those uh, aren't my last words. I hope. <laughs> I hope they're not. It wouldn't be famous either. <laughs> well, but, they might. But anyway... Yeah, so we're not going to make a big deal. We'll see what happens today. We're going to lunch in a little bit. Supr big surprise. Yes. We're going to lunch a little bit, in a little bit with Lisa's parents. Then we get to pack, which is always a treat. And then Jesse, our son Jesse. But first, we're going to Uncle Dom's house. Oh, we're Jesse. going to Uncle Dom's, Lisa's uncle who lives in the backyard. Well, he doesn't live in the backyard. <laughs> he lives in a house in the back uh, with his uh, lady friend. Fran, and we will be hanging out and having coffee with them, and then Jesse and Heather will be coming over to say their final farewells. Well, not their final farewells. Well, final farewells. Unless we're right. dying. Yes. Well, yes. Well, we're all also, dying. Also, it's uh, I mean, right? Like Am I right? Let's get... I don't want to get too philosophical, but we're all dying. It's, On a positive note... It's 64 degrees today, so... Feels amazing. We're going to go from, you know... I'm sitting out here like in my... 30 degrees... Yeah, we're going to go from this to back home to Florida, which this morning the feels like was 100 degrees at 9 a.m., and here it's at 60s. Um, but it's beautiful out. I'm sitting out here enjoying the morning, and Lisa's like, I'm freezing. My feet are ice cold. I'm going inside. You're freezing? Then what are you in the winter when it's 30 degrees? What are you, If you're freezing now at 65, and you're... And your feet are ice cold. I didn't say they were what ice are you? cold. Yeah, you did. My feet are freezing. You said freezing is ice. Oh, boy. All right, anyway. It's turning ugly fast. All right, we'll see what happens today. Yeah. Bon voyage. Well, you're not going anywhere. We are. They might be. See, now, this is a typical spousal uh, argument that can turn into a big thing. But we're old now. And we've been together for almost 40 years. Lisa and I are 53. We've been together since we were 15. So we're pushing 40 years. Before so we, you say all that, I just want to say that I've gained 8 pounds on this stinking vacation. What, what does that have nothing to do with this? I know, but I thought of it and I wanted to share it with the peeps. Oh, okay. I'm and sure that makes I, them all feel much better. But uh, <laughs> only 8 pounds? My head weighs more than that. Anyway... <laughs> Okay, so whenever I smoke my cigar, wherever Lisa sits, the smoke ends up going in her face, right? So I said to her before, why don't we switch seats because the smoke is going right and you're over there on the right, come over here on the left and it won't be a problem. She said, well, I'm, I'm going to go in in a few minutes anyway. My feet are freezing. Well, I also said oh, no. that no matter which side I sit on, even if we do a little, uh, little wing check, wherever I go, it's in my face anyway. Yeah, so she just stood up, and now I forget what even happened, because we yacked on about other things. Oh. Ford came on to complain about my attitude and the response I oh, gave yeah. to your so she's generous, about to go in. She's about to go in. Offer. Generous. She's about to, I don't know that word. She's about to go in, and she stands up from the chair, and then she stops right here to edit on her phone or look at pictures or something, and the smoke is still going in her face. So I said, could you step over here to the left so I can enjoy my cigar without having to worry about it going in your face and I'm trying to brush it away and blow on it so it doesn't go in your face? That's a polite thing, right? And I said it no, like no, this. No, Hold on, wait, I said no, it like this. No, he said, can you step over here to the left so I can enjoy my cigar without having to worry about it going in your face and I'm trying to brush it away and blow on it so it doesn't go
can you move because I can't enjoy my cig my cigar because the smoke is blowing and I want to enjoy it. So see, really it was selfish. See what she left out? Well, let me explain. This is the difference between men and women. She just left out One there the most important thing. That's not what I said. I said, could you step over to the left so I can enjoy my cigar because I'm too worried about it blowing in your face and I'm not enjoying myself. She left that part out. But yeah, yeah, she's laughing over there. <laughs> oh, how cute I am. The whole yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why men and women argue all the down time. To the because fact that he wanted to enjoy his cigar and I was ruining it. That's, see, that's see, really see how she see how she, she responds with emotion and I respond with logic. Well, thank you. Anybody in a court I'm a of woman law, and you're a man, that's what we're supposed to do. In a court of law, you would hear my case and you would say Frank is correct. He was being polite, he was asking you to move. In the court of emotion, Lisa says, oh, yeah, it's all about him enjoying his cigar. That's all that matters. Do well, you like lose that? the case. Do I sound like anyway. That? Uh, Is that how I sound? So I say, now we lost the whole thread of the thing. So I say, could you step over there so I can enjoy my cigar? Now I forget what she even said when she stepped over here, which was the whole point of making this particular video. But it doesn't matter because it was something along the lines of pure emotionalism. But I love her. Charlie Blood's restaurant. Been here since the 30s. 1930s. Oh, established 1938, it says there on the sign. Oh, okay. Look at a little joint here. It looks like all those little joints in Patterson. Where they got the bars. In little bars like that. Yeah. There's a funky little Spanish joint there, La Fortaleza. I see a. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. I'm blanking out. I, past the old the uh, cactus. Look at these little guys out in front. La Cecilia. Yeah, we're eating again. <laughs> Garfield. NJ. All right, one final meal with the gang. <laughs> they got Zeppelis. All right, we're at uh, La Cecilia here. Let me show you the menu. And then here's the antipast. Oh yeah, that'll be gone in two seconds. <laughs> Last, you don't got pop in there. I will. There we go. Right, well, yeah, Our last good. cheers. This is a video, so we can uh, Oh, okay. Why? Well, I didn't know you were doing this video. Cheers. 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 Safe ride home. Yes. The Brajol. Veal Brajol and rigatoni. Veal Brajol and spaghetti. Pop didn't get anything yet. Look at this. Come on. Poor Pop. Wait a minute. It's coming. All right. Here's the meatballs. Those look perfect. Why don't you get the big one, Pop? All right. Enjoy, everybody. Yes. There they are. Yes. All right. Is it any wonder I weigh 800 pounds? All right. Got the Sviadel, and I just put a little shot of cognac in the coffee. So we're partying here, and we got some Zeppelis coming out. What are you eating? What is that? Is that believe with butter? <laughs> Is it good? Mm. We ate everything. And no then some. No surprise there. Oh, look, there's a half a sitting there. Oh, let's have a fight for it. Yeah. Ah. Do a quarter each. No, no, you do it. You know he's going to do that quarter than the other quarter. No, no, you're going to do it. No, I'm not. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Drop you over here. You want to smell around a little bit. That's down here, right? You know, you know, pass it. The other one. 
We've got a main store and a like a sub store. I think we're past it here. Oh I'm God. Go in and smell some stuff. I'm not gonna smell it. If I go in there, I'm gonna end up buying the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's smoke, that was that far. Start smelling so good, you cut a slice off. <laughs> While I'm driving, cut a little slice. Hunt, cut me off a hunk of that bacon while we're driving. Cut pretty the flowers at the Venetian, okay? Well, Bo Bella Note is one of our hot spots, but we didn't make it this time. So, we ordered the food that we like from there to go, and we'll bring it back to my mother's for later, because we probably can squeeze in at least one more, maybe two more meals before the day's over. So uh, I'll show it to you later. We just had these at the Italian restaurant. Now we came home and Albert brought these. Good God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I know, we'll do. Uh, I, You've been buying me dinner for three weeks. I figured I, I got food. fatter just sure. looking at it. Jancarelli's in Wayne on Valley Road. Now we're going to look through some old pictures. I'm back in the, uh, the good old days. Right, Mammy? Mm. Mm. Oh, don't sound too enthused yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so excited. All right. Oh, look. Ooh, oh, look. This is going to be <gasps> fun. Oh, my gosh. Let's hide this one. Oh, we're already hiding them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I'll show you later. Uh -oh. 